This is the fourth and last narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 2, Chemistry of Life. Let's get started. In this module, classification of chemicals is discussed, including the distinction between organic molecules, those that contain carbon and hydrogen, and inorganic molecules, those that do not contain carbon and hydrogen but may contain carbon or hydrogen. A description is presented of the four major organic molecules, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. A molecule is said to be organic if it contains carbon and hydrogen. There must be at least one carbon-hydrogen bond in a molecule for it to be called organic. Water's chemical symbol is H2O, so it contains hydrogen, but not carbon. Therefore, water is not an organic molecule. Water and all other molecules that do not contain a carbon-hydrogen bond are said to be inorganic. Biological macromolecules are large molecules put together by a combination of smaller molecules. The smallest unit of a macromolecule is known as a monomer. The prefix mono means one. Polymers are long chains of different types of monomers. The prefix poly means many. The four types of biological organic molecules are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Each molecule has a different type of monomer. Carbohydrates are monosaccharides. Lipids are glycerol and fatty acids combined. Proteins are amino acids. And nucleic acids are nucleotides. This chart explains that carbohydrates are sugars and starches and used for energy and communication through membrane receptors. Lipids are used for energy reserves and communication through hormones. Proteins have a variety of functions, including contracting muscles. Nucleic acids contain genetic material, which codes for protein. Carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and they are the primary energy source for the cell. Glucose is an important carbohydrate. The body uses carbohydrates by breaking down complex carbohydrates into monomers, then converting those monomers into energy via cellular respiration. Carbohydrates may be in the form of a singular monomer, such as glucose, or two monomers put together, a disaccharide like sucrose, or a polysaccharide like the starches. Monosaccharides are monomers and are the simplest form of carbohydrates. Disaccharides are two monosaccharides covalently bonded together. Polysaccharides are many monosaccharides covalently bonded together. To help you remember this, Recall that the prefix mono means one, di means two, and poly means many. If a monosaccharide is placed in water, it will take the form of a ring. Examples of monosaccharides on this screen are glucose, fructose, and ribose. Disaccharides are the combination of two monosaccharides that are covalently bonded together. The process of combining carbohydrates involves a type of reaction known as a dehydration synthesis because a water molecule is lost by the reactants. As you can see from the example on the screen, glucose and fructose combine to make sucrose or table sugar. Lactose a dairy sugar, is another example of a disaccharide. Polysaccharides are long chains of carbohydrates and they can exist in a variety of forms. 
Starch is found in plants and can be broken down by humans for energy. Glycogen is the polysaccharide form that animals store as extra sugars. Cellulose is also found in plants but cannot be broken down by humans or many other animals. Chitin is a fourth type of polysaccharide found in the exoskeleton of insects and in fungi. Energy is stored between the bonds of the atoms in all monosaccharide, including glucose. Glucose can be stored to be burned for energy later. Animals store glucose in the form of glycogen, while plants store glucose in the form of starch. When an organism needs the energy in the glucose, the glycogen or starch is broken down into its monomers and the glucose can be used for energy by breaking it down through cellular respiration. Carbohydrates, like cellulose, are not used for energy, but used for structural support. Cellulose gives structural support to plants, while chitin gives structural support to insects, like roaches. Other carbohydrates assist in cellular communication. Carbohydrates found on a cell membrane help cells recognize and communicate with each other in a variety of ways. Carbohydrates on the cells of your body allow your immune system to recognize it. Lipids are a diverse group of organic molecules including waxes, steroids, fats, oils, and phospholipids. Lipids generally possess a hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head, which as you recall is related to the level of attraction or fear to water. Waxes are nonpolar hydrophobic water fearing molecules that protect plants and animals. Waxes are known as esters because of the specific arrangement of the carbon-oxygen bond. They also possess two long hydrocarbon chains. Steroids are a family of lipids with four carbon ring structures. Steroids include cholesterol and many different hormones such as testosterone and estrogen. Steroids are responsible for hormone production, vitamin production, lipid digestion, and general cellular health. This chart shows several important types of steroids. Cholesterol, cortisol, testosterone, and vitamin D. Triglycerides are fats and oils, and they are named for having three fatty acid tails attached to a glycerol molecule. Fats and oils are the primary method of energy storage by organisms. They also serve as insulation and cushioning. Think about the fatty blubber layer that insulates whales. Saturated fats contain only single bonds on the fatty acid tail. Unsaturated fats contain at least one double bond. If the hydrogens attached to the double bonded carbons are on the same side, the molecule is cis unsaturated. If the hydrogens are on the opposite sides of the chain, the molecule is trans unsaturated. Saturated fats have three fatty acid tails that contain only single bonds. Examples include lard and butter, which are solid at room temperature. Unsaturated fatty acids contain one or more double bonds. Examples include oils, which are liquids at room temperature. Phospholipids are yet another family of lipid found in cellular membranes. Phospholipids contain a glycerol molecule and two fatty acids with a phosphate attached. 
Amphipathic is the term that refers to a molecule that has both a polar hydrophilic region and a nonpolar hydrophobic region. Phospholipids have a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail. Due to their amphipathic nature, phospholipids arrange themselves in bilayers or micelles. In both arrangements, the hydrophilic head faces the outside aqueous solution while the hydrophobic tail faces inward toward one another away from the aqueous solution. When a bilayer is formed, the phospholipids form into two layers facing one another. When a micelle is formed, the phospholipids arrange themselves into a ball with the polar heads facing the outside and the nonpolar tails facing toward the inside of the ball-like structure. Do you remember the universal saying, like dissolves like? The large hydrophobic tails of phospholipids will dissolve into each other so there is a thick hydrophobic layer surrounded by the two thin hydrophilic layers. Proteins serve many functions in the body and are the most diverse group of organic macromolecules. Proteins can be obtained in a diet through meats, cheese, beans, and grains. Proteins are chains of 20 different types of monomers called amino acids. This drawing shows some of the different functions of proteins such as muscle contraction, immune responses, and enzymatic reaction. Amino acids are held together in a chain by peptide bonds, which are a special type of covalent bond formed by a dehydration synthesis. Components of an amino acid include an amino group and a carboxyl group. A peptide bond is formed by linking the amino group to the carboxyl group. An R side chain is also present, and each type of amino acid has a unique R side chain. The functional group or R side chains have unique properties. Polar functional groups are hydrophilic, contain nitrogen, oxygen, or sulfur, and are often responsible for catalytic activity and enzymes. Nonpolar functional groups are hydrophobic and affect the shape of a macromolecule. Charged functional groups may affect pH by adding or removing hydrogen ions from other molecules. The top picture shows a chain of amino acids held together by peptide bonds. The bottom picture shows the amino acid structure with the amino group, the R side chain, and the carboxyl group. Remember, the R only stands for any one of 20 different functional groups. A peptide bond is formed by removing two hydrogen molecules from the nitrogen atom of the amino group and an oxygen atom from the carboxyl group. The hydrogen and oxygen can find combine to form water, and a peptide bond is formed between the amino acids. This type of synthesis is known as dehydration synthesis. Protein that form long enough chains will take on a specific three-dimensional shape known as its folding pattern. Folding patterns may be reversible and able to change back and forth, while other folding patterns may be irreversible. Denaturation is the unfolding of a protein, which leads to the destruction of that protein. Extremely low and more commonly, extremely high temperatures and extreme pH ranges will denature proteins. Most proteins that interact with other molecules involve a binding site or a point of attachment. A ligand is the term for any molecule molecule that binds to a protein at the binding site. Ligand. Enzymes increase the rate of a chemical reaction by decreasing the amount of energy needed to carry out the reaction. A reactant is the substance that is altered in some way during a chemical reaction. Reactants are ligands and bind to the binding site. A product is a molecule that is formed by a chemical reaction. Ligands may also be referred to as a substrate and will always bind to the binding site.
further, the suffix ASE ACE is used with most enzymes. Most enzymes have ideal conditions to perform. Temperature is most important and generally low, with slow enzymatic activity, while high temperature will degrade the enzyme, rendering it useless. Similarly, the concentration of hydrogen ions, or the pH, also affects the enzymatic activity. Enzymes, like pepsin, work best at a pH of 2 in the stomach to digest proteins. Substrate concentration will also affect the rate of reaction. The higher the substrate concentration, the faster the reaction takes place. Nucleotides are the basic building blocks of nucleic acids. Each nucleotide contains several components. A phosphate group, a 5-carbon sugar known as pentose, and one of five nitrogenous bases. The purine bases are adenine and guanine, and the pyrimidine bases are cytosine, uracil, and thymine. All pyrimidine bases contain a Y in the name, just as the word pyrimidine. This figure shows the phosphate group, the pentose, or 5-carbon sugar, and the nitrogenous base. The structure of nucleic acids contains a linear backbone made of phosphate sugar units, covalently bonded to the backbone of nitrogenous bases. Two strands of DNA are held together by hydrogen bonds that form between nitrogenous bases of either strand. The major function of nucleic acids is to store genetic information in the nucleus of the cell and to synthesize proteins. DNA stores genetic information, while RNA and DNA are important for prote protein synthesis. Nucleotides are also important for giving energy to the cells of all organisms. The molecule responsible for this is adenine triphosphate or ATP. The structure of ATP contains an adenine, not the same as adenine, ribose, which is a pentose, and three phosphate groups. This module focused on the chemistry of life. Topics included a description of basic terms and concepts important to chemistry. Other topics discussed included characteristics of chemical molecules molecules and the classification and function of some of the different molecules important to biology.